Hey guys, welcome to your second Java tutorial on data types. So, data types are different ways of holding types of data. And so let's just get started. There are three different data types we are going to be working with today. And there are several others, but we um, I recommend you look them up on your own because while they're not useful to what we're going to be doing now, they may be useful for efficiency later on. So you should probably go look those up if you want to. So the three we're going to be working right with right now is int, double, and string. Alright? So these are different ways of holding data. And int, as you probably know from math class, is short for integer. And it holds any negative or positive number. So the way we're going to do this is you're going to say int then the variable you want to call it so let's say x equals negative 5 now this is probably the best way of declaring your variables although you can say int x and just leave or int y and just leave it like that and you can declare it later on so what we're doing here in the first one is actually we're going declaring so we're declaring what the x variable is what type it is it's a type of int and we're initializing it which means we're giving it a value right so make sure you know what the difference between declaring and initializing is that's a big big thing in java so now that we've got it initialized and declared we can go ahead and use this so let's go type out system dot out dot print ln and if we were just to type x, a semicolon, and press play. One second here. There we go. It would print out negative 5. Alright, so it's just going to print out whatever that x value holds. If you put x plus 6, you'll get 1. Alright. So that's your first way of declaring and initializing, and that's one data type. Next, we're going to be working with is double. So let's say double f equals 5.0. So doubles are any sort of decimal number, so any rational or irrational number from math. It also includes um, integers. And yeah, so rational or irrational numbers. So you can just type in 5.0, and this is the only like integers won't hold uh, uh, decimals so never try to put any decimal inside there and we can also just type it 5 and it, it'll work the same but when you print it out let's say it, it's going to print out with 5.0 because it's a du uh, double so our next data type that we're going to be looking at is string and let's say string x equals now strings are a little bit dif different. Strings hold uh, a string of words and characters. So you can type out like hello and just put your semicolon there. And anything inside the open and closed brackets will hold whatever you want to put. So if you want to type in like Mississippi or like dog or something and then you want to print it out gonna print out Mississippi dog yeah right there so now that we've learned how to do that let's do some things with this all right so let's say int or you know what, let's put int deposit equals 5 double withdraw equals 20 and let's put string X string X equals Let's say the amount in your bank is, and then a uh, semi uh, colon, and then just put your semicolon at the end, and there we go. So let's do something with this now. So it's a system that I'll print line x, and now since we want to put something else in, we're gonna have to put a little like plus sign, and that's called contactation, concentration. My bad. And you're gonna put in like anything you want so deposit we're gonna put actually open and close brackets because remember this is a math operation we're about to do 
So just like in math class, any it has to be in brackets if you want to type it in properly. So x plus deposit, and then minus withdraw, let's say. And this is going to hopefully print out what we want it to, negative 15. All right? So that's pretty much how you use data types. And you guys should go look up the other types of data right now. And that's pretty much how you do it. So we're just going to work a little more with uh, declaring and initializing and math operations. So let's put int deposit. Let's actually delete this line first. Just take that out. Int deposit equals 5. Then we're going to put, just to show you, double x semicolon. And x equals 10. And then we're going to put int random equals seven, 8. And we're going to put another uh, comma, put z equals 5. So what I just did there was I took the int and I said anything on this line is an integer. So yes, we can declare, mul declare and initialize multiple variables on the same line. All you have to do is separate them with a comma. So now what we're going to do is say x plus z minus let's say 5 and we're going to print this out. Or minus let's say deposit. And then we're going to put a plus because you're putting something else there. It's called concentration. Remember that. And we're going to put random and let's say, hmm, let's put, this is a random test. And let's just put a little space there. And remember, anything in the brackets is counted. So this is counted as a letter. And it's going to print out that space. And 10.0, this is a random test. So why it came out as a double is because the final number was a double. So it prints it out as a point O, right? And that's pretty much everything for data types. And we'll be introducing some input output next tutorial. And I hope you guys subscribe, comment, and rate. Thanks everyone for watching.